Do you want to learn how to extract the state of a checkbox in YPath? Hi Marcelo, and on this tutorial we will learn how to do it. So I'm here on this web page and I will leave on the description of this video the URL to access it. And here we can see uh, two checkboxes, one checked and another unchecked. So uh, we will learn how to extract the state of each one. So first step, we will have to use on this case the use application browser activity. So let's drag it to our project and then let's indicate the page. And now inside of this use application browser, we will use the activity that will allow us to extract the state of the checkbox. So the activity, it's the get attribute get activity. So let's search here for it. And this activity allows us to extract retrieve attributes from certain Y helper. So uh, let's drag it to our project. And first we need to indicate the element from which we want to extract. We want to get certain attributes. So in our case, let's indicate the first checkbox. And let's confirm. And now uh, that we have indicated Y element, we need to specify the attribute that we want to get. So if we open this drop down, we can see attributes that we can get from this element. So uh, the one that we want is the checked attribute. So uh, by selecting this attribute, we will get the Boolean result. So if it's checked, we'll get the true. If it's unchecked, we will get the false. So now we have to create the variable of type Boolean. So let's do it. So let's open here the variables panel, create a new variable, bool checkbox state of type boolean. And now let's nick it here on the save to property. So uh, let's use now a message box after just to see easily the result. So Let's drag it up to the get attribute and let's call our boolean variable and convert it to string. So let's run now our project. So uh, in this case, it should give a true because it's checked. So let's run it. And as we can see, we got a true because the checkbox is checked. So Let's now indicate the second one. So here on the get attribute, let's indicate again. So let's indicate the other the checkbox. Let's confirm. And now let's run again. And at this time we should get a false because it's not checked. So let's run again. And we got a false. So if you like this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and also consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you'll get notified for each tutorial that I launch on the channel.